Hi, Gabrielle. I'm Joshua Pinkay with Travel Noir. Thank you for sitting with me. Thank you. Um, I'm going to start with a baseline question and ask you, what does home mean for you? Ooh. Before the trip, home was Omaha, Nebraska, the north side specifically. Um, I come from one of the largest black families in the state of Nebraska, one of the largest in the Midwest. Um, and home has always been rooted in Omaha, Nebraska. After the trip, I would say home is somewhere in West Africa. You've been to Africa prior to this. Mm -hmm. um, and so I want to ask, how did this experience differ from your past travels to the continent? I think everything up to now, up to 50, certainly for the last 30 plus years, I centered trauma in everything. You know, um, if my heart is here, trauma was, it, there was no way around it. So every experience was filtered through trauma. Um, so yeah, so something about this trip and my commitment to learning about self, which in my opinion, we all come from Africa, literally all of civilization. Um, so the more I am rooted in knowledgeable of self, i.e. the motherland, the more empowered I am. And I know that the next 50 or 60 years is I mean, everything's on the table. Mm -hmm. I can do anything. I think that's going to lead into my next question because Ghana, Zanzibar, Tanzania, South Africa, what do these places offer you in terms of healing? Uh, uh, Zanzibar was where my birthday was. Mm -hmm. um, and there was something about the collection of people that the, most of the bulk of my my guests were always there were all in Zanzibar. Not everybody made it to the other countries. So that was the most full I felt in the absence of trauma, um, if that makes sense. It does. Uh, I think a lot of times when people have rallied around me in the past, it has been because of trauma, not in the absence of. And to be loved fully and all that space that the, the not having that trauma sitting center stage created I was able to be loved differently, loved differently by my mother, loved differently by my, by my child, by my man, by my friends. That might be the most open I've ever been in my life. Um, and Ghana, returning to Ghana. So I had been to Ghana, God, I think it's like 06. And we dedicated the first breast health hospital in, in Ghana. Um, and it was in honor of she was still alive, but my girlfriend, Kristen Martinez, who had been diagnosed with stage four metastatic breast cancer. And I was doing that work and, and the advocacy in hopes of saving her life. And it was on that trip where I, it just landed what metastatic disease was, that the prognosis was built into the diagnosis. And it just felt like I was associating it with death and the end and this return it was like the superhero origin story. It was the beginning that changed my whole, that changed everything. Uh, Namibia, I had, I had never, I had never even thought to go. I'd, I didn't know anyone who'd ever been. And then as we were in the planning stages, my friend Lewis Hamilton, uh, he took a group of his friends like trekking through different parts, different countries in Africa. And he, when they got to Namibia, I hit him, I was like, yo, where is this? Like, what is this? Is that like one of the seven wonders of the world? And he was like, it's the Red Dunes in Namibia and you have to come, you have to come here. He's like, I can't exactly explain it, but you will leave here different. No lies were told. And there's something about knowledge of self and knowledge of self as in terms of capabilities as creators that I left there, you know, mm -hmm. I was like, ah, like <clears throat> I could do anything. Yeah, like I could do anything. Yeah. And I'm so young. I started the trip feeling old as hell. I felt like old and rickety. And I left there feeling like a teenager. What misconceptions are there about the continent that you hope Black Americans can unlearn after watching your journey? Oh, gosh, that we know we know nothing. We have been <clears throat> lied to run astray. Like, listen, like it's and it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Our our lack of knowledge and the misinformation that we have have been have been given 
is actually dangerous. Yeah. It does not help us. It does not help any any black people across the diaspora and certainly not on the continent. Um, it's important to know the truth. Yeah. Um, and if you have to seek that out by getting on a plane, do it. If you seek it out academically, do it. If you seek it out through social media, do it. But there it is. It's so beautiful and it's so vast. It's a massive continent. The people are beautiful and, and, and different. Like yeah. there's just like if you go down south and you're like, oh, you from Louisiana, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, I am. Oh, right. So I called it. Um, <laughs> but you can, I could look at somebody and be like, I and can kind of tell where you're from. It's the same. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And the more casual conversations that you have, things will feel <clears throat> familiar because we are all African peoples that, you know, have been scattered. Yeah. Purposely. But, um, yeah, just know that you've been lied to yeah. and be open to learning the truth. Yeah. And is there one specific thing about the entire journey that sticks out to you that you really want audiences to, to, to take away from that? Ooh. That it's in you. That that we go, we go watch these Marvel movies in DC and we want to read about superheroes and watch superheroes. You are the superhero. Okay. Something in that river, I was like, oh, this is my superhero origin story. We've been our own superheroes, but we believe the lies. Yeah. And I'm asking you, take off the mask and embrace. It's you. It's, it's you. I promise you, it's you. And you have it. And you don't need to look outside of yourself. And you don't have to wait for some random, you know, goalpost that keeps moving to keep moving mm -hmm. before you realize, oh, wait, how much time did I waste believing the lies about me and people that look like me? Yeah. You better claim your superhero origin story. Yeah. Yeah. Gabrielle, thank you so yeah, much. You. Really appreciate your time. Thank you.